This section is about the QCPR with the CPR meter measurement and feedback option. If you have the compression sensor, then please refer to the QCPR with compression sensor section. The QCPR measurement and feedback option with the CPR meter is used during CPR on patients at least 8 years of age or 55 pounds, 25 kilograms in weight. It requires use of the pad's CPR cable with Philips multifunction electrode pads to measure ventilations and the CPR meter to measure compressions. In this program, we're demonstrating placement of the pads first, then placement of the CPR meter. The sequence of placement may depend on the patient's condition and your resuscitation protocol. It is recommended that the pads, CPR cable, and CPR meter cable connections, and the patient adhesive pad application be made prior to patient care or emergency. To connect the CPR meter to the CPR cable, align the arrow marker on the CPR cable connector with the arrow marker on the meter's integrated cable. Push until it snaps into place. A status light on the CPR meter remains off when the meter is connected, but the HeartStart MRX is turned off. When the MRX is turned on, the status light becomes green to indicate that the CPR meter has passed its self-test. Now check that the patient adhesives are within their labeled expiration date. Peel one from the white liner strip to expose the adhesive surface on its underside. Align the adhesive with the yellow area of the meter and press it into place. The green surface of the patient adhesive pad indicates that the sensor is prepared for CPR. When a situation arises requiring CPR, Apply the multifunction pads to the patient's clean, dry, and free of hair bare chest in the anterior, anterior position. And verify the pads are connected to the pad's CPR cable. The ventilation algorithm measures changes in chest impedance, which correlate with ventilation volume, necessitating the anterior, anterior pad's placement. Next, peel the green liner away from the CPR meter patient adhesive. Position the CPR meter on the patient so that the compression area is centered between the nipples and on the center line of the bare chest, as shown on the front of the CPR meter. It is acceptable if the CPR meter overlaps a defibrillator pad. Set the Heart Start MRX to manual defibrillation mode and start CPR compressions. Using standard CPR technique, place the heel of one hand directly on the compression area of the CPR meter and place your other hand on top of the first. Be sure to position your hands so you can see the display area of the CPR meter. It is not necessary to press the Start CPR soft key. When CPR compressions start, QCPR detects the activity and engages automatically. First, the CPR meter display shows a patient outline as a prompt to start compressions. When the CPR meter first detects compressions, its display changes to the enlarged compression indicators. At the same time, the Heart Start MRX displays CPR-related measurements. Here is the configurable CPR timer and compression counter. This area contains the numeric values for compression rate, seconds of no flow, ventilation rate, and a ventilation detection icon. The compression and ventilation rates are a moving average rate measured per minute. Depending on the mode, manual defib or AED, and the AED CPR display configuration setting, the screen may look different. In manual mode, the compression waveform appears here and is labeled comp. As the chest is compressed, 
the wave's downward stroke occurs. As pressure is released, the wave rebounds up to a baseline. Keeping the bottom of the wave in this target zone achieves good compression depth. As the chest is compressed, the meter's display provides information about rate and depth of compressions. When the speedometer needle points to this green area, this indicates that the compression rate is within the target range. If the needle is below or above the target area, this indicates that compression rate is too low or too high, respectively. If the rate is not corrected to within the compression target rate, the MRX provides corrective voice prompts. Compress deeper. Each compression performed is represented on the CPR meter display by a moving white compression depth indicator bar. When the CPR meter detects that a compression meets the target for depth or release, the target illuminates. If the CPR meter detects a compression that fails to meet the depth target, the area does not illuminate. If this yellow arrow appears, this indicates that four consecutive compressions have failed to meet the depth target. If the compressions continue to miss the target, the MRX provides corrective voice prompts. Compress deeper. If the CPR meter detects that compressions exceed the minimum compression depth target, the CPR meter shows the depth indicator below the target area. When the meter detects that pressure is not fully released between each compression, this yellow arrow appears pointing to the compression release target. In both cases, the arrow guides you to the target by getting smaller and disappearing as you approach the target. If the compression release is not corrected, the MRX provides corrective voice prompts. Release pressure between compressions. In AED mode, you can choose between the same full QCPR view as in the manual mode and a basic view with only text messages and voice prompts. If this icon appears when the MRX is in AED mode, stop CPR and stand clear of the patient. This indicates the MRX is analyzing the patient's heart rhythm or advising a shock.